Hi Sagittarius, it's Power Night Tarot coming at you with a reading. Sagittarius, this is going to be your own reading today. And I've already put your oracle cards out here. And uh, mm -hmm. these are general reads, Sagittarius. So check your moon and your rising videos. Uh, your answers could be there. And uh, let's see what we have. There could be somebody else's energy within, uh, especially if you are, you know, somebody's really important to you. I feel like there is somebody important because uh, Sappho is showing up, and this is all about love. This is about somebody who wants to, you know, take flight with somebody. Uh, the lady is there with her wings. She's ready for a brand new beginning in love with somebody she is. And, uh, you know, maybe Sagittarius, you are... I feel like what you're doing in this reading so far with these oracle cards is you are wondering if somebody's making a choice to, <clears throat> like, to have a new beginning with you, to, like... Uh, you know, respond to a great calling or the expanse. The wolf card is a great calling, like something that is beautiful. Are they responding? Are they going to, like, go on this adventure? I feel like it is you who is wondering that because this is your reading and making a choice. Uh, we have the Thunderbolt card. This is, like, somebody who is awakening here and, you know, whatever they were dealing with in the past is just kind of crumbling and, uh, you know, maybe things were just built on a, a, a kind of a, a flimsy foundation, right? A weak foundation because uh, this is the person, this is the tower within somebody. So the people are falling to their death, right? And the fires are burning. But this person has all these thunderbolts here. And these are all like connections to source, like understanding, right? Uh, and vibrating and kind of connecting uh, to your own divine source and understanding, right, uh, what this, what the universe wants for you. And I also say that because we have breath of the cosmos, my will to thy will. This is like believing that the universe uh, has your back or that they will, the universe is working in your favor, like God is working for you. And I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like you are going inward here, the pond, about this and you're seeking answers but this is about we also have the playfulness card Sagittarius so this is a playful love right they're showing the uh, they're showing the clown um, yeah I usually don't like clowns unless they're sad if, I, if, they're, if they're sad that means they're like kinda sweet but that's another subject right but uh, this is playful this is playful love that you have with somebody and for me there's no other better love yeah so let's look at, let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. And in the extended reading, we're going to, uh, before we shove off here to the extended, we're going to, you know, lay down the gypsy spread and we will complete it. And the card of the Wheel of Fortune is here, Sagittarius. This is divine timing. And we have this card over here. It's you, Sagittarius. You guys know how I read. Yeah, you do. And, uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> just looking at the symbology here. Mm -hmm. because these were uh, these were written by these elites. Yeah, the, this tarot uh, deck was. It sure was. And uh, But looking at this symbology here, but the making a choice. Oh, and this is what I was trying to say here. This is divine timing because we have my will to thy will. Like, divine timing is stepping in here. Something's meant to be. This playful love, I feel like, is meant to be. This could also be you. You know how I read. I read that, you know, that could definitely be you. And uh, the Nine of Swords is your highest expectations. You're worried. Or you think somebody else is worried. Right? Your person. Whoever they are. You may not be with them or you may be with them. Looks like you might not be. But uh, coming into play here is the Devil card. This is coming like pronto. Like right away. Energy is leaving you is the Five of Cups. Somebody was grieving. Or somebody has regret. And this could be in the past. There could have been... That's what that really means, leaving you. Hold on one second. This could be in the past, right? Uh, I feel like it is. And energy's coming soon is the Eight of Cups. So this is somebody leaving. And I just said that... Uh, these are endings in this reading. Yeah, Five of Cups, Eight of Cups. I don't think you're with this person. I feel like you are wondering if they're coming. Yeah, you're wondering if they're making a choice to come. Making a choice is right here. And here, this is coming soon, the Eight of Cups. I feel like they could be walking away from somebody to be with you. 
And I feel like that's what this reading is about. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody is going through an awakening here, and it is probably this person who is coming towards you. They can't leave you, Sagittarius. They're not with you. Not in this particular reading. So let's see uh, how other people are affecting you. The Four of Wands. I feel like they're bringing you a union, this person. Four of Wands. That's how they're affecting you. How you are affecting them is the Page of Wands. You could be, like, influencing them or affecting, like, uh, you know, encouraging them. Or, like, kind of making them indirectly to walk a new path and go in another direction. And I feel like it's towards you. And your hopes and fears, Sagittarius, is the Eight of Swords. So you're fearing that... Uh, you're fearing that, you know, you could be hoping that somebody sees no other way out but then to leave a situation because that's what this reading is already about. <clears throat> you and Capricorn are kind of, you know, kind of mirroring each other a little bit. I don't think this is necessarily about a Capricorn. We do have uh, the devil here. It could be. <clears throat> but what I mean is I feel like you and sometimes you and Capricorn are, <clears throat> some of you guys are returning to somebody from your past or they're returning to you. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have, though, before we kind of, you know, uh, kind of <clears throat> jump the gun here. And we have the Wheel of Fortune showing up. This is showing up with the Queen of Pentacles. So you know, this could be a Capricorn, your person. This could be you and your person right here. The heart of the matter, right? <clears throat> And the influencing energy is the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Like, it just looks like somebody's walking away, your person, this Queen of Pentacles person, most likely, walking away from somebody, and they're no longer trying because this is the in, in another situation. This is the influencing energy. Like, right? The supporting energy here. Like, what else is going on here to support the heart of the matter? And we also have the Seven of Swords. Looks like somebody's escaping a situation. Let's get another card. Let's look at this Eight of Pentacles reversed and let's see what that is about. Seven of Pentacles now. I feel like you are wondering here if somebody's escaping another situation. And I feel like they are. Eight of Cups coming into, coming soon. I feel like they're walking away from their person and you're wondering that. Yeah. And if they are this Queen of Pentacles, they could be so slow, Sagittarius. You could be going, what? It doesn't take that long to show up, all right? Yeah, can you, what is, what's the, what's the problem here? Your gold is too heavy because she's holding the coin, right? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is about fertility. We see the rabbit here. It's about fertility. It's about abundance, right? Yeah, and uh, let's see what else. It is also about sex, anything earthly, the, uh, the earth signs. Anything earthly. Sex is earthly. The Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Let's see uh, what your highest expectations are. And we have a lot of pentacles here. A lot of money here. Right? I feel like this is, uh, you know, maybe they're walking away here from a marriage type union. They could be. I don't kind of really like to bring that in, but the family's showing up right there. And we have the Nine of Swords. This is your highest expectations with the... Uh, with the uh, Knight of Wands. So maybe you, you know that they're going to come kind of worried or that they are worried. Maybe this is just you worrying about them taking action. Let's get another card. I feel like this wolf card is somebody who is uh, like responding to the call, like uh, taking action to their great calling in life, like a great love, right? Like this is my calling. This is meant to be. And that's what's showing up with this breath of the cosmos. This is like, this is a union that is meant to be. It is. It's, uh, you know, it was meant. It's, it's fated. It's destined. This is destiny. I feel like it is. And we also have the Ten of Cups here. So we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. These are completions. The Five of Cups is an ending and the Eight of Cups is an ending. I feel like you you could be thinking, if this person is coming, right, and they're really leaving something, you could be thinking right here that uh, I'm sure they're going to be, they're going to come worried, like, 
right? Or you could be worried here. Maybe you're high, so expect this could be you worried if they're going to really take action. This could be your happily ever after this person. I feel like it is. But this could be, you could be just kind of expecting them maybe to be coming like kind of worried or uh, maybe grieving. They could even be leaving a situation where they are grieving. Grieving like an ending, but I really want to be with Sagittarius, but I'm willing to grieve this ending. And the energies coming into play is the devil and the sun card. This could be, you know, Capricorn and Leo. <laughs> but it could also be, you know, I feel like this is more like an energy. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. Queen of Swords. This is coming into play. This is somebody who is discerning. Uh, I feel like they're fearful, but they're discerning whether or not there's going to be success here or happiness. This could be you, though, uh, coming where you are kind of just uh, like kind of, you know, discerning whether or not this person is <clears throat> in fear. You could be discerning whether or not they got their clarity. I feel like that's it. I don't feel like this is so much about happiness. Because we have, excuse me, Sappho here with the love. This is love. This is love. This is two people who love each other in this reading. So you're discerning maybe if they, you are, you could be thinking, I wonder if they're fearful. I feel like that's it. If they have fear, <coughs> excuse me. Or if they feel really stuck. I feel like you you are discerning if they have their clarity because you think that they have fear. Yeah, you do. I feel like you think this person has fear, and this is why, because I feel like they're leaving a situation. I've been saying that for a little while, but that's what these cards say, you guys. So let's look at the energies that are leaving you, or I feel like these are energies in the past, right? As I was saying. And the Five of Cups, Knight of Swords reversed. Six of Wands. This could be, you know, maybe there was regret in the past. This could be the past or the recent past, right? This could have been regret here. Somebody could have grieved somebody. This could be your person's energy here. They could have already grieved somebody. Mm-hmm. Maybe you grieved this person in the past. This could be somebody who wants to take action and overcome the whole situation, but they are ending another situation. I feel like that's what it is, you know, because we see these other cards. So, energies that are coming soon, Sagittarius, is the Eight of Cups and the King of Wands reversed. This is you. This is coming soon. This person's walking away from somebody. You're not with them. They can't walk away from you, Sagittarius. Not in this reading, right? Yeah. So let's see what else we have. And we have the High Priestess. They could be walking away from Pisces or Scorpio. Or your person is Pisces or Scorpio. Mm-hmm. And the Four of Wands is how other people are affecting you. Here they are. They're taking a chance on you, Sagittarius. Four of Wands and the Fool card. I can't make this stuff up. They are taking a chance on you. They're jumping off the cliff. It is a chance. This is why you hear, I feel like you are discerning if they are in fear. Because this is a, it's a chance for them. It's a, a risk. I feel like they have risked another union. Yeah, they have. They're coming because they really love you. And this is playful love. The playfulness card is right next to Sappho, which is major love. This lady showing her boobies here. And, uh, you know, she's, uh, mm -hmm, these flowers are kind of blooming around her. And she has her wings on. This is you, Sagittarius, ready. Right? Mm -hmm. Ready to pull your top off with your wings, all right? That's what you're doing here, right? Her top looks like it's already off, right? Because <laughs> her cleavage is like coming right out of the cup. Yeah, it's her, you can't even see her dress here. All you see is her cleavage and her wings, right? Yeah. So it's next to the playfulness card, right? And this is what you were discerning. Um, this is coming soon here. I feel like you are wondering if they have their clarity, but if they are in fear. And they have their clarity. This is how they are affecting you, Sagittarius, right here. Taking a chance on you. Uh -huh. And the Page of Swords. This is how other people are affecting you. You're wondering if they're doing this here. That's what this is. You are wondering. And uh, they're still coming, though. I feel like they are. This is. I just don't understand why they've taken so long. 
uh, for some of you guys, this Queen of Pentacles, as I said, if they are an earth sign, that's how what they do. They, they, they plot along. I don't mean sneaky plotting, but they plod, P-L-O-D, like so slow, like, you know, like the horse. There's a really slow horse that they have. I forget the name of the horse, but definitely not a, a mare or a stallion. It's not a stallion for sure. Uh, it's not a racehorse. No, it's the horse that kind of pulls the plow. Maybe that's why they plot. And has big, heavy, big, heavy legs with, you know, the bottom is so... You can tell they can't run because fast, because their feet are, like, so heavy and cumbersome. And that's what this is. This person is, you know, with these big, giant, heavy feet. They can't walk fast. No, they can't, Sagittarius. All right? Mm-hmm. And how you are affecting other people is the page of... This is so interesting. Page of Wands, Three of Swords reversed. You're, you are, like, kind of making them be on a new path, walk towards you, and end a third party, three of swords reversed. This is what you're making them do. Yeah. And I don't mean you're, you know, you're waving your fist in front of their face saying, you better, you better do this. I don't mean that at all. Okay, some people are kind of taking it literal. Yeah, come on, guys. And we have the eight of swords, the five of wands. This is reversed. This is your hopes and fears. You're hoping they're going to end the competition. They are. And you're hoping, you're fearing that they're going to be stuck. But you're hoping they're going to end this competition, five of wands, reverse, and release themselves. Because this is a major challenge for this other person. I can tell. I feel like this is the playful union you guys share. But this is your person, the Thunderbolt, going through a major awakening. And it is like, it's like lightning to them. It's, it's hard for them. They're being hit uh, with this kind of lightning from the universe, right? And meanwhile, there are other relationship, I feel like, or they are coming from a situation here that is falling to the ground, they're letting it crumble, right? And we also have making a choice. And this is them, Sagittarius. It's not you, Sagittarius, making a choice, right? You're just making a choice to kind of do your pedicures and your manicures and shave your legs. Yeah, you can be going, God, I have to shave my legs. I haven't been shaving at all. That's not good, right? <laughs> See, we have, if you're a guy, you could be saying, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start shaving or I'm going to like make my goatee look really good here. Let's, uh, let's open up the... Uh, begin the gypsy spread for you, Sagittarius. Such a beautiful reading. It really is, right? Yeah, let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. And interesting here with this making a choice uh, with the Enchanted Map Oracle, you know, there's two doors here, kind of like, almost like in the Lenormand where they have the, the choice card, which is the staircase. But there's two choices here, and, you know, one is, uh, you know, they're both different choices. And I feel like this is... Uh, representation of your person is choosing between you and somebody else. Yeah. Sagittarius. Yeah, troublemaker. Let's see what we got, Sagittarius. Let's see what we have for you and your person with the gypsy spread. And then we're going to go over to the extended. And the heart of the matter for you guys is the death card. See, they're ending another situation. Right? They got... Uh, this is uh, Lucifer here, mm -hmm. with his ugly bat wings. Yeah, they're not you. So see, in the past, a skeleton shown up is the merchant. This is somebody who changed their mind. That's what this is. They changed their mind. This person was with somebody else, and they changed their mind. Yeah, they're changing their mind. Uh, they're seeing things different. That's the merchant. It's kind of like somebody who is, you know, running a business, and they change their mind. Oh, you know what? Uh... Right now, uh, gas is so expensive, we can't offer rides anymore. Yeah, and that is, that is not by chance, guys. That it's, everything is by, uh, is by design. It is, although they are standing there, you know, lying, right? If you guys want the link, you just uh, send me an email. Don't put it in the comments. People keep doing that, and it really kind of makes me angry. I'm not going to really respond to those people. You just send me a link, right, to create898 at protonmail.com. And I will send you, uh, one of them is a documentary. You have to watch it because the symbology is there. Yeah. Conversation card. This is coming into play. Yeah. This is and unfolding. And the challenge here is the soldier. This could be telling somebody here that something's over. Because back in the day, that's what the soldier did. Brought the news. Uh, bad news, too, usually. The death card, again, is the outcome. Wow. So we're going to end this, and we're going to pull another card. We're going to, you know, whenever we have uh, repeats, we pull another card, right? But we're going to look at the extended uh, as well as going to be the completion of this, how they see the situation, uh, Sagittarius, what you don't know about them. Yeah, uh, they could be suffering, like, yeah, they could be totally uh, right now. But 
how they feel about you, what's on their mind, their near future, the issues between you both, and uh, of course their outcome. Thank you so much. You guys are all super affordable. And uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe.